Everyone knows that the iPad 2 is smaller and thinner and lighter and it's got cameras and, you know, it's fantastic. But what not everybody knows is under the hood. We've got a dual core processor and improved graphics processor in here. What this has done is really caught the attention of the gaming industry. One of a couple of games, you can see... Oh, this one takes a little bit long to load because it's so processor intensive. But it's Iron Man 2. The graphics are absolutely amazing. Give you a minute to see what they look like. But the point of the games I'm going to show you is that they use virtual joysticks. Virtual joysticks are really not that cool. They serve their purpose in the game, but they're a little hard to manage at times, especially games that require more than one. Here's the idea. See this button here? I touch this, and I can run around. Okay? Doesn't matter how far off I get, though. It's real easy to keep sliding on the glass. It's a real problem. Let's take a game like Spider-Man. Again, virtual joystick. With this one, I can even go too far away, and it'll lose the sense of me touching it. And as you're running and you're holding and you're finger sliding, that's easy to happen. So, what's the solution? Well, the fling. 10-1 Design is the company. They make the fling joystick. It's suction cups to your iPad. It's got this spiral coil in here that gives it its springiness to come right back. We very simply go back into our game, center this over the virtual joystick, press down on the suction cups, and now I have an actual joystick. You get the tactile response, the feeling of a raised joystick like you would with any video game console controller in there, um, you know, the, the resistance of, of holding down and wanting it to spring back, uh, it really works much, much better. These guys did a fantastic job with this in here. Um, the suction cups, as you can see, it's a good grip. The iPad moves, the fling won't, okay? Uh, if you get a pair of them, it comes with a carrying case, which also functions as a microfiber screen cleaner, which is good just to keep your iPad looking nice. In addition, though, it gets rid of skin oils and fingerprints and things that may cause you to not get a good seal on here. Take a game like Geometry Wars, dual joystick. So I'll pop my second fling on here. Now what I get is one controls my direction, one controls my aim. So now I can use a total multi-touch dual joystick system. This takes the iPad from uh, just to a whole new level. Before I was playing games on my iPad, now I feel like I'm using an actual legitimate gaming device. Very responsive. The capacitive touch, I'm just not good at that game, that's what happened. But it's very, very responsive. It works terrific. You pop them right off since they're suction cup, one, two, three, and you're back. I was a little bit skeptical about this, I'm not going to lie. It had me nervous that whether if this was cool, it was a gimmicky. Did it really make a difference? I wasn't sure how to feel about it. 10-1 design, the makers of the fling were nice enough. They sent me a pair. Just so you know, full disclosure, I did not pay for these. I thought they were kind of cool. Asked 10-1 for a pair, and they arrived. They wanted me to do a review on them. Here it is. So you take a skeptic like me. Thought it would be cool, gimmicky, is it worth the 20 bucks for one and 30 bucks for two? I don't really know. I popped it on and immediately I was hooked. The two levels of Spider-Man I managed to complete from when I got my iPad 2 until last week went well beyond into finishing the game and going back and getting all the extras, you know, the, the updates, the hidden things with this. It just really makes the game that much more intuitive uh, to play and natural feeling in your hands. So, great job. By the way, 10-1 Design also makes a capacitive stylus. I haven't used it. I know very little about their particular model, but I've used a stylus in the past, whether it's a digitizer on a Wacom tablet or phones, whatever the case. I like the use of a stylus. Keeps your screen neat, gets rid of the fingerprints, obviously, and, uh, you know, allows you to get that precision control. So, again, I haven't tried it. Check it out for yourself. These guys, they won Best in Show for Macworld Expo 2011. They're doing a great job. I'm uh, real happy with it. So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and go play some games. You guys check them out and let me know what you think.